After nearly a year of virtual learning, students in Newport News went back into the classrooms today. Allie Weatherton shows us the new norm for students and teachers and talks to a mom who says she's thrilled her son is back in school. After almost a year of virtual learning, students in Newport News who chose in-person instruction headed back into the classroom. They told me he's going back to school February 2nd, sign me up because he just needs the interaction. Parents like Blair Washington said learning from home became a struggle. She said her son, Carmichael, has autism. All day I have to sit in this chair right next to him that I'm sitting on now. So that's my entire day with a kid next to me while I'm trying to get him to, you know, learn. Today, Newport News Public Schools welcome back thousands of students who chose in-person learning. That includes children in pre-K through third grade, students with special needs, and students who are learning English for the first time. I feel like it's going to be a big help for him. School Superintendent Dr. George Parker said the last time students learned in a classroom setting was last March. He said for children in pre-K and kindergarten, this is their first time. We're excited. This is a great day and things have gone fairly smoothly with uh, with the transition into in-person instruction. One first grader said he would rather wear a face mask every day than learn virtually. Dr. Parker said he's happy to hear students are glad to be back. And I think the in-person instruction will, will allow us to meet our academic objectives for the year, allow us to, to better serve a greater population of our students, and we'll continue to provide great service to those students who are at home learning, learning virtually as well. Dr. Parker said the plan is to bring the rest of the students who chose in-person learning back by March 8th. In Newport News, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.